Hello, this is Jessica with Scott Leroy Marketing. In today's tip video, I want to go over how to link your Instagram account to your Facebook account in order to then run ads through command that will go through your Instagram. So it's a bit of a couple steps for this process. So today you'll need your Facebook login information as well as your Instagram login. And then you'll also need your KW command login information, your username and passwords. In order to get started, you want to log into your Instagram account. So you can see I have that open here in this window of my browser. The first step we need to do is to make sure that our Instagram account is a business account or a professional account or it won't be able to link to the Facebook page. In order to do this, you'll click on the top right, your profile picture, and then you'll click profile, the first option. Next from this page, you wanna click edit profile, which is right here next to your picture and your Instagram name. So click edit profile. Once you're in your profile settings, down at the bottom left, there's this blue text that says switch to professional account. This is what you want to click. Next, you want to click the business option, the second option down. So you'll click that, the little circle on the right of business, click next. This is just telling you what uh, the business option offers, so you'll click Next again. For the category that you want to put on your Instagram business page, we'll just do Real Estate Agent for now. Select that circle next to Real Estate Agent and then click Done on the bottom. This is going to switch the account to a professional account. You can still post and everything like you've been doing. You can fill in your contact information here, your email, phone number, and maybe an office address. And then click Save. It's going to tell you now that your Instagram business account is ready. And you can click Done. All right, wonderful. So we have this set up now as a professional or business account. The next step is to go to your Facebook page so we can connect to this. So you want to go to your Facebook and log in. I'm already logged in here, so this is my home page. The home little house icon is selected at the top. Over here on the right hand side, it says your pages. Now I've already created one here. But I'm going to show you how to create a business page as well right now, just in case you need help doing that. So you'll need to create a page, and in order to do that, you'll go over on the left-hand side to this menu under your name and profile picture, and you'll click Pages. So here it shows the page I already have created. So if you already have a business page set up, you can click that now and skip to the next part. If you don't, you'll want to click Create New Page over here on the left. You want to title your page, so I'll just do the same one as before. Whatever your business name is, you can put Realtor next to it, whatever uh, you have in your other social media sites or that you would like people to be able to search you as. Category, I'll type real estate agent. And then you can add a description here about your business. And then I'm going to select create page at the bottom left. Oh, because I already have a page with this name, it's not letting me uh, use that name. So I'll just quickly change this to something that I'm not already using. There we go. And you'll select Create Page on the bottom. All right, so it's popping up here to say that this was created. And now that I have created it, you can add images or go to your page to add more details. So I'm going to X out of that. Here it's showing you where you can add your profile picture, 
or cover photo, which you will want to do to make it look nice. And you can also add a description in the About section. For now, I'm going to save this. And I'm going to X out of this for now because I'm not going to need to connect it to WhatsApp at the moment. And then yes, I do want to leave. Okay, so here's the page and what your page will look like. You'll have your cover photo, your profile picture, and all your information on here. But in order to connect the Instagram account to this page, over on the left-hand side under Manage Page, scroll all the way to the bottom to Settings. Click on this Settings button here. Next, we're going to scroll down, same thing, on the left-hand side until we see the Instagram button here on the left and click that. It'll bring you to this screen where you can connect your Instagram account. So you're going to click the blue connect account button. And yes, you do want to allow access to Instagram messages just so that you can see everything is connected. Click continue. It's going to prompt us to sign in to our Instagram account that we want to connect. So I have my login information ready. I'm going to enter my username and password and click login. You can save your info if you want to keep using it on the current browser so you don't have to log in each time. I'm not going to do that right now, but you can feel free. Now this should go ahead and connect the account. There it goes. All right, so now that we have our Instagram business account connected to our Facebook business page, we can now go into command. So if you're not already logged in, you wanna to go to agent.kw.com and enter in your command username and password. Once you do that, in order to get to this screen that I'm on, you'll click in the top right, your profile picture and your name Click the second tab down in the drop down menu for settings. That'll bring you to the, this page with your connected apps. Now what we need to do is connect the Facebook page that we just created here for Facebook post scheduling and also the Facebook ads manager. You can see um, I'm in Scott Leroy's account. So he already has an account connected. So if you already have something connected and you want to connect this new one, that's fine. You can also, of course, always disconnect an account here through the manage button. And if you haven't connected one at all, the button next to Facebook will probably look more like this and say connect account. So whatever option you have here, you want to connect another account or connect the first account. Okay, so because I'm already signed in uh, to my Facebook, it's prompting me with which page I want. So what you want to do is select the page you want to connect. So I'll select the one I just created just to show you, which, which was Jessica Bailey Business. And then I'll connect them. So there it is. It's under post scheduling now. We also want to make sure it's connected in the Facebook ads because this is how you'll be able to schedule ads to your Facebook as well as Instagram. So you click manage and then here from the drop down, oh, I'm going to click create another account. I'm sorry. So I, I clicked here, connect another account because the one I just created wasn't showing up. So you'll click connect another account. And then under the Facebook profile, it's going to have the pages that you have set up. So as you can see, this is the one I just created, Jessica Bailey Business. I'm going to select that one. And now it's going to prompt me to accept Facebook's terms of service. So you want to click continue. It'll bring you to this page where you need to accept the terms. So this was the page I'd already created. So what I need to do is select the page that I want, which is Jessica Bailey Business. And then you want to click accept to accept the terms. Great. 
Once you get the screen box that that's been done, you can X out of this window up top if you want. And you want to go back to this command page that we were just on. So next we'll select that again. Now that we've accepted the terms, you select the page you want. And now it says page connected. So we'll click done. Now everything is set up and connected for you to be able to post ads through Facebook or through Instagram, but I just want to show you where you can go to do that. You'll go over to the left hand side under the KW logo down on your applets menu to the campaigns button that looks like a megaphone and click there. In order to show you how you would post an ad through Instagram, we're going to click create campaign in the top right under your Facebook, uh, under your profile picture and name. We'll select social ad paid, this first option. Great. So just to show you here what it would kind of look like as you're setting this up, and we have other videos that do go over how to create a social ad campaign in more detail, so feel free to check one of those out. For now, I'm just going to type new listing just to show you how to select the Instagram option. I'll do advertise listing here. Here at the bottom, you want to select Instagram for where the campaign will run. And then create campaign at the bottom. This is giving me an error just because the Scott Leroy Facebook account, there's something going on with that. So I'm just going to X out of this for now. Um, and I'm going to X out of all these things so I can get to the main campaign page. Here we go. So this is where you can create your campaign. It'll show you the preview on the right of your ad. And on the left hand side here, it has all of the fields you need to fill in. Again, we have videos that go over creating these paid social ads that you uh, can take a look at for more information on how to fill all of this out. But for now, what I want to show you is how you can now post to your Instagram account since we connected it. If you scroll down to Instagram settings and click that, you'll have the account drop down right here. So you can see it says Scott Leroy and there's a small arrow next to that. I'm going to click the arrow in order to select the other Facebook account. If you only have one, you can just leave it as the correct one but I'm going to select Jessica Bailey and now it's going to prompt me since there's more than one page I want Jessica Bailey business and you'll see options here to post to the feed of Instagram or to post an Instagram story you can see now that it's got it set up to for the ad to run through my Instagram page Jessica Bailey business so overall, it's a few tedious steps, but that's how you can connect your Instagram to Facebook to then connect it all the way over to command and post ads. If you have any questions, feel free to email us at support at and have a great day.